Hey, Matt here. Scrape box fact number two. Most common questions when very first purchasing a scrape box. I didn't get the download link. Well, here's the download link. It's scrapebox.com forward slash payment dash received. If you lost it, if you didn't get it in your email, if your spam filter deleted it, whatever, there's the download link. I never got my serial number. Well, Scrapebox doesn't use a serial number. It's manually activated by the developer each and every license. Typically, they say give them 24 hours or less and everything will be activated, but they're very on top of it and it's usually less than that even. And in the meantime, while you're waiting for your license to get activated, if that's the case, go ahead and watch all the videos, read up on it, and read through some threads and get some info. How do I activate Scrapebox? Pretty easy. In Scrapebox, this button right here says activate. You would just click that button and you would punch in the necessary information, the requested information, and it would send off to the developer and then they will activate it for you. My license is activated, but when I start Scrapebox, it says something like unable to access the server or not activated. Basically, just like this. Basically, what's happening is one of the servers could be down or busy or slow at the moment. Um, you can run a server test if you go up here to uh, help and then hit test server connection. You'll see different tests. Um, I happen to catch this video at the moment just for a few seconds while Scrapebox Server 1 is down here. Maybe it's restarting or whatever. Um, and Scrapebox Server 2 is working fine. But that's how you can test your connection. And if you're not getting connection, then send it off for support. Which brings us to the question of how do you actually do support? I see a lot of people in forums that are PM, PMing the developer or they're trying to write to him there in the thread and all those sorts of things. Um, I, ideally, you could post up in a thread like the sales thread or a support thread on a forum and ask your questions for support. That way you can help keep support queries down from the developer and they can keep working on developing the product. Um, but if you can't find the answer that way or it's just you know no one else knows then the best way to get a hold of support is to go to scrapebox.com scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on contact support and that is fact two